So you want to add a unique ID when a form response is submitted. Well, we're gonna enter data into a form. We're gonna add the unique ID. How are we gonna do this? First, we're gonna create a unique ID. We're gonna figure out what sheet we're on. We're going to figure out what row we're on, and then we're gonna add that ID to column three. But in order to do that, we're gonna need to create a trigger on form submit. I'm gonna show you every single step of the way in this video. Come to tools, create a new form you may already have a form already created. We can rename this form anything we want. We want new leads, perhaps. We're gonna to go to extensions, app script, and here we're gonna write a brand new function. We're gonna to need to two things. We're gonna to need to create a function and then create the trigger to trigger that function when the form is submitted. So let's call this new ID, and we're gonna need an event or E to make it simple so we don't have to type in the whole word event every time. This E is going to be a piece of data that basically is when the form is submitted, the trigger is created, we have this event that happens and we can get some really interesting data from this. So the very first piece of data we want is to know what row we're on. So E.range.getRow. We're also gonna create a variable of an ID. We wanna create that ID. And that's just utilities. And that's simply utilities dot, and make sure you have your parentheses. And this ID will be a universal unique ID. It'll be a fairly long string of characters, but it'll be very, very unique for each one. Also, we need to know what sheet we're on. When we're submitting forms to Google Sheets, there's the form itself, but there's also the sheet that gathers all of the responses. We need to know which sheet we're on and make sure that when, when we're submitting forms, we're on the right sheet, especially if we have multiple forms. We wanna know which sheet we're on. Variable sheet equals e.range.getSheet. This will get us the sheet variable. And now let's put it all together, sheet.getRange. We wanna write on the row on column three, this is the C column, set value. We're gonna save this, and now we'll create the trigger. Over on the left side, go to triggers. Once we're on triggers, on the bottom right, add trigger. Choose which function to run, new ID. If you have multiple functions written, you'll have to select it from here. Event source will be from spreadsheet and select event type. We're gonna click that and change that to on form submit, save. If you do this for the very first time, you'll have to authorize it. Okay, so now we have our trigger. Let's go trigger it and see what happens. Let's go to our tools, go to live form. We're gonna enter name here, back to our sheet, and we can see already it adds this unique ID to column three. So that column three will have to change if you have multiple form responses, like if you have quite an array of different values you're getting. But every time we add a new response here, we're gonna add a new ID. Get a new ID for me. Submit, and here we can see it automatically creating this UUID here in column three. If you wanna delete this on form submit trigger, just go to triggers on the left side, and on the right side, you'll see three dots, and you can delete this trigger here. Just to review, let's go back to our editor and see we have a function that has an event, that E. We're getting the row, e.range.getRow. Getting an ID, utilities.getUUID. Getting the sheet that we're on, e.range.getSheet. And then putting it all together, setting that value in the third column of the row that we have. If you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets, automate them, do cool things, subscribe here on YouTube to Better Sheets.